everybody. This is Susan from Susan's Paper Crafts. Um, you can check out my blog, SusanPaperCrafts.com. Dot blogs dot, dot com. Sorry. Um, and I'm here with another video. Uh, I know it's been a while, but I'm going to share some of the projects that I've been working on. So today I'm just going to, this video, I'm just going to cover one of the um, St. Patrick's Day cards that I've made. Uh, it's going to be using the Teddy Bear Parade. I'm using some paper from the printed animal cardstock from Recollections. I've really had fun with this, so I really like this. If you have an opportunity to get this paper, I think you'd really have lots of fun with it. Um, I'm using the Cuddlebug folder here called Charles. It's got the chevron shape. You can see that. I've got to tell you, this is probably one of my most favorite um, Cuddlebug folders that I've started using recently, so I've, I've really used it a lot, which you'll soon see in my videos. Um, I'm using Tuxedo Black ink, the Rainforest ink, which I know you saw from the uh, haul video, so I am using it. My Glossy Accents, I'm using Yellow Stickles, I'm using two Studio G stamps, I'm using an Action Wobble, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a coil there in the center, and then it's got two like adhesive pieces to it. Um, here is a mini scoring board, and I've got my husband again. He's uh, agreed to be my cameraman, so that's really helpful. And I've got the Scotch Adhesive Dot Roller, and I put that out here because this has really been my first time of using it, and I've enjoyed it. So you might want to give that um, adhesive a try if you haven't so far. Okay, that said, I'm going to now bring out my card. And actually, it's cards. So you can see from the stack here, I've got six cards. And I'll probably make a few more before St. Patrick's Day. I have a big family and some grandkids. And so this, when I make cards, a lot of times it's in quantity. All right, so what I want to show you today is this is my teddy bear card. And I'm going to just move the mini scoreboard off to the side and just focus in on this. This is an A2 size card. It is four and a quarter by five and a half folded at the top. Okay. This is a four inch teddy bear and I stamped it with the phrase wild and Irish and that came from the Studio G punch, and again, or sorry, stamp. And again, those are like dollar stamps I got in my Joann's. I put, you can see that little accent here. In fact, that's kind of what triggered my uh, thought to use that particular phrase was this animal print. I thought it was really cute. You can see in the background I used a light blue cardstock, and that's got that chevron that's been embossed on it. On the little uh, shamrock um, teddy bear guy, um, sorry, I guess leprechaun bear, um, I did glossy accents on his hat band, his pot of gold, and his bow tie, and his button, and his nose. Okay, button on his jacket and his nose. I just love how that looks, and thank you to all who I've seen started to use Glossy X since I had it, but I just really hadn't used it. So I appreciate all the encouragement. Uh, shout out to Spyro Rocks 346. She uses that a lot, and it's always awesome. The uh, yellow stickles, I accented the pot of gold and his buckle on his hat band. Okay, and you can see I put a little bling, yep, I love my bling, um, on the uh, wild there. Okay, so let's go to the inside. The inside of my card is the uh, light blue, and this is matted with, um, it's a quarter inch less, so this is four across by five and a quarter, okay? 
Then stepping down another quarter, it's a black mat, so that is five by four. And then stepping down again for the white mat, which is where I did my um, message inside, that is um, four and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, so each one is just stepping down a quarter. I again highlighted with my um, green print from that Recollections Animal Cardstock, and I highlighted with two shamrocks. Now my shamrocks actually came from, um, I believe it was um, Paper Doll Dress Up. But if not, they also have shamrocks on uh, Simply Charmed and Create a Critter too. So those are some other options for you if you're looking for shamrocks. And that is my Happy St. Patty's Day card. And as I said, I've made six of them. So my three grandkids um, and different family members will be receiving this. And I'm from a big family, so when you start to see volumes of cards, you'll understand why. Okay, that's my card share for St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching, and um, stay tuned for some future videos. Bye.